All right, today we're going to show you how to use touch dots with money and how to count using those touch dots. So our smallest coin that we have is a what? Penny. A penny. And a penny is worth how much? One cent. One cent. One cent. Do we put any touch dots on a penny? No. No. Why don't we put touch dots on a penny? Because only one cent. Right, and we're only counting by? Five. Five. Well, with a penny, we count by what? One. 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 So we don't need a touch dot on a penny. So our next smallest coin is a? Nickel. Nickel. And how much is our nickel worth? Five. Five. Five cents. All right. Tell me, where does our touch dot go on our nickel? Donut hole. In the middle. In the middle, and we call it a? Donut hole. Donut hole. So those of you that are watching, we use for our nickel, we put it right in the middle, and we make it a donut hole is what we call it. All right. Then our next coin is a? Dime. Dime. And how much is a dime worth? Ten cents. Ten cents. Ten cents. Very good. All right, Aiden, tell me where does our dot, where do our touch dots go on a dime? Here and here. Very good. We put one on the top and one on the bottom. Nice job. All right, what's our next biggest coin, Marshita? Twenty-five. Twenty-five quarter. cents, and that's called a quarter. Very good. So we put our quarter. All right, now, Aiden, tell everybody where do our touch dots go? Here, 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 here. All right, and what are those called, Varshita? We call two them two ears, two ears, two feet, two feet, and a belly button. And a belly button right there in the middle. All right, and then our next coin is a what? Half, half dollar. dollar. Half dollar. Very good. How much is a half dollar worth? Fifty cents. Fifty cents. So I'm gonna put fifty cents, and we circle it. All right. Now this is where it gets funny. So our touch dots. We have two, two ears. ears. Two, two feet, feet a belly button. and a belly button and then we have to go back and, and do two socks two socks two socks two, two earmuffs two earmuffs earmuffs very good and shirt and we call that a shirt. shirt very good we put a shirt on him all right so he's got earmuffs two socks and a shirt and we just say this to be silly and to remember where our touch dots go all right back up a little bit okay what do we do with the dog? all right now Whenever we have a touch dot, what are we counting by, Varshita? Five. Fives. We're counting by fives. And that's just so that it's easy for us to count up our money. But there's something that we have to remember when we get to the 50 cents. Because not only do we have a touch dot, but we have a circle. What does that circle tell us to do? I count it two times. Count it two times. So we would count five, ten. 15, 20, and count like that when we do each of our circles. So we're going to count it twice. All right? Is it recording? Okay. All right, now we're going to show you how we count our touch dots. Back up just a little bit, Aiden, and I'll let you see. All right, we're going to show you how to use touch dots when you're counting money. And now, anytime you actually have real money on the sheet, you want to put the touch dots on those coins. But when you're drawing it out, you can draw out your money and put the amount in the middle and then put your touch dots on. So I'm going to show you how we do that. So if we have a quarter, if we have a dime, a nickel, and we'll do three pennies just to show you. All right, so first, the very first step before we can start counting is to do what? Put all of our touch dots, touch dots on. And let's review. How, where do our touch dots go on our quarter? Two, two ears, ears. Two feet, ears. Two feet. Two feet. And a belly button. And a belly button. All right. Where do our dots go on the dime? What do we call them? Um, we say a... Top and the bottom, very good. And then our last one, Barshita, where does our last dot go on our nickel? Donut hole. In the middle, on our donut hole. We call it a donut hole. All right, now, whenever we count, we're counting by what? Fives. Fives. When we get to our very last touch dot, what do we do? Stop. Stop, and then what do we do? Count the pennies. We add on the pennies, and we write down our total without the, with the touch dots, then we're going to add on our pennies. So, back up just a little bit and count with me. Here we go. And remember, I want you to tell me to stop when I get to my last touch dot. Are you ready? All right, here we go. 5, 5 10, 10, 15, 15 20, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. Stop. stop. I'm going to write it down so that I can remember. All right, now I count 40. 41, 42, 43. So I have 
43 cents. Very good. And how do I do my cent sign? It looks like a C with a line through. line through the middle. Very good. So we stop here to help us make the easier transition to counting over by ones. So we're switching to ones when we get to pennies. Is this on All YouTube? Right? It's going to be on YouTube, yes. Mm. All right, so let's do one more. So we'll do a quarter. We'll do a half dollar. And we'll do a nickel. And another quarter. And we'll do two pennies. All right, here we go. So, where, Varshita, tell me where the touch dots go on the quarter. Two ears, two feet, and a belly button. Very good. And what about my half dollar, Aiden? Two, two ears, ears, two feet, belly button, earmuffs. Earmuffs. Shirt. Shirt. Um, shoes. Socks. socks. Very good. Socks. All right, and then our half dollar, we have a... What's it called for donut a, do hole. a donut hole? Very donut good. Hole. All right, are y'all ready to count with me? All right, back up just a little bit. Are you ready to count with me? All right, here we go. No, that's a nickel. Yeah, yeah this is a nickel. All right, here we go. You ready? 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80. Stop. Stop. Write it down. And then count on 80, 81, 82. So we have 82 what? Cents. Cents. Very good. All right, now that you've learned all about touch dots, let's review. So our half dollar, which is 50 cents, has two ears, two feet, a belly button, two earmuffs, two socks, and a shirt. Your quarter, that's 25 cents, has two ears, two feet, and a belly button. Your dime, which is 10 cents, has a top and a bottom. Your nickel, which is 5 cents, has a donut hole. And then your last coin, your penny, does not have any touch dots because we do not have to count them by fives. We count pennies by ones because they are worth one cent. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel at Teach Craft Learn.